Uh, the most I use my smartwatch for is for the notification ability. Um, I like the fact that when I get a text or a call, I can kind of see who's doing it and filter it through to see if I can take it now or possibly just wait till later. Um, I can go to my notifications, look at the notification my girlfriend sent me, um, <laughs> simply reply with a text message, which is a pre-made um, text, or I can use my, my voice to reply if I want to. I can definitely use my voice and apply to, uh, reply to the text message there. I like that I didn't have to pay for it. It was a gift. Um, basically, it's just like great for getting notifications about what's going on on your phone. Uh, I'm afraid to break it. Like I'm a lot more cautious with the left than I used to be. Can't throw any left hooks. Uh, I watch like when I'm walking by something, like I just instinctively just like tuck this arm in, like don't want to scratch it, just habitual changes, I guess. It get a little pricey, so yeah, I think it'll be a while, but once the prices drop down um, and people look at their, all their options, I think a lot of smartwatches are probably here to stay. I think watches could catch on, but some of the other stuff like uh, Google Glass and like any kind of like the Oculus Rift, that kind of thing, I don't think that's gonna get any traction. Just it's a lot easier to look at your hand. If you're looking at your watch or your hand, most people think you're looking at a watch. So what I think what's getting down to is the simplicity and making it more convenient for people. And they're always gonna to strive to do that until eventually we're gonna look at our hand and the phone's gonna be right there.